Look, 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 look at this man getting tossed through buildings. Hit fierce game. Like, I don't understand what like, he bolt. Like, and way this man always, no matter what, he always get paired up with just the strongest people. Cause we, Jogo is strong. We know he's strong. Like he, he displayed before Sukuna come back. But for some reason, like, go, he gone up with Gojo and he on, he get clapped. Then he gone up against um Gojo again, but with help, he get clapped again. Touch professionally. <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 was actually peak storytelling and a major upgrade from Season 1. Today we're going to be talking about my previous and current opinions on Jujutsu Kaisen from Season 1 to the movie and the most current Season 2. If you want more anime content on the channel, leave a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon to be notified the next time I upload. Before we continue, this will have Jujutsu Kaisen spoilers for everything, so tread lightly my friend. When I first watched JJK Season 1, I enjoyed it by the time it just felt lacking in the story department. It felt like a generic shonen that shonen munchers like myself would enjoy. The way Itadora was just a typical good guy protagonist and he was good at everything, casually chucking those metal ball things with ease. Then there's the way he received his abilities, which were by swallowing paws a finger. But okay, but um, one sec. Why is it that it's starting to get a trope of protagonists eating random objects to get powers? From the top of my head, I think in the Deku with All Might here, and now Itadori with Sukuna's finger. And at least sanitize them things before you digest them. I saw you, Itadori, just eating that nasty finger just straight out of nowhere. These nasty niggas. Then there was Gojo. He was. Oh shoot. They dropped my script. Did you pray today? Huh? Anyways, with him brought the strongest teacher trope that has been getting more popular over the recent years, along with him being a pretty boy for fangirls and guys to fiend over. Aside from that, the fights are god tier, and the characters are enjoyable as hell, but other than that, I didn't care anything else about the anime. It just felt like one of those anime that you can just turn off your brain and enjoy. But then, season 2 came out. <laughs> At this time, I hadn't watched the movie yet since I didn't care for it, so I still knew nothing of Gojo and Geto's connection. So, getting to see how close they were, then seeing how they both dealt with Amanai's death, Gojo's euphoria, and Geto's moral descent, and a one way ticket to the racist trio. Filthy monkey who monkey smell of monkeys, and that they're nothing but monkeys, because I don't need any monkeys like you in the world that I'm creating. That's got to be racist. There's no way. I'm going to just keep it real. There's no way that is like of our culture. All right, give me a minute. They're getting chopped, right? All right. I love when storytellers do this with characters, especially when they make two similar characters go through similar tragedies. Then they make one single decision that can alter their lives entirely. Then they duke it out because they both strongly believe in their ideals. And the movie really helps you understand this connection more with Ghetto and Gojo's last moment together. Not as foes, but friends. Best friends even. The Gojo plotline is a solid 10 out of 10 for me personally. One minor issue with Jujutsu Kaisen I have is Itadori's backstory. It doesn't have much going for it other than the Sukuna situation. Actually, now that we're on Sukuna, that Jogo Sukuna <laughs> fight that came out recently came out went so hard. Jogo thought he was him, bruh, but nah, he was putting in the work, but Sukuna was quite literally standing on business. Look, 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 look at this man getting tossed through buildings, hit fierce game, drag. I don't understand what he bolt like. And why this man always, no matter what, he always get paired up with just the strongest people. Because we, Jogo is strong, we know he's strong. Like, he, he displayed before Sukuna come back, but for some reason, like, go, he gone up with Gojo and he on, he get clapped. Then he gone up against um, Gojo again, but with help, he get clapped again. Touch professionally. <laughs> I know, no, no, Sakuna want the run, want the ones, no. I know he just get tossed boat, felt pelt boat the place. Oh, look, look at whole, look at whole. Sakuna left you, man. My look like a, 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 a downgraded inferno. <laughs> 
Like, what he is do this to this poor man? Like, what he do? I know he's a villain, but he ain't gotta do he die bad? And look, look, look at this man. But he play with his feelings. And then he, he Sukuna going down there, going harassing random people out here, just having fun. Like, hey, don't move, don't move, ooh, ooh. And then going along. All this, and then doing Jesus poses and things, but he harassing this poor man, Jogo. Hey, Future Bo here. Yo, the uh, Magaraga fight between him and Sukuna was amazing. Like, and then seeing Itadori's reaction to seeing all of the people just dying phone notification anyways seeing all the people dying was just a uh, chef's kiss like just seeing the despair on his face like you can truly feel and uh, see his mind start to crumble by the fact that he just killed so much people I don't know what Mappa's doing up there but they are cooking free 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 brody please <laughs> but back on topic I don't know if Itadori gets fleshed out more in the manga like the rest like some of the other characters but right now Itadori just doesn't have much going for him for me to like him other than his likable personality which is not a bad thing and now that I think about it a lot of the other characters is pretty much the same thing just oh you know why them hate like just a little bad sort of like no Barra just oh she don't like the country so she here now well th their personalities are just likable so I like, that's the, I guess that's the best part about the characters I me, I, I love like bad stories and stuff like that. I just like just make you feel and understand the characters more. But hey, Gege know what he's doing. He's the writer, not me. It's just for me, like, we get all of this from Gojo and Geto's side and Yuta as well. Like, I don't know. I just feel a little greedy. I just want more from the rest. But that's all from me. And wait, what? Did you pray today? Uh, of course I did. Ah! 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 Ah